What's up, YouTube? It's Tiny. Hey, I, uh, today's Saturday, and, uh, I just figured I'd give you guys a little update. It's the 13th, and, uh, having a birthday party for my kids, uh, and my, uh, the little woman. Um, my, <laughs> I have three birthday parties within a week and two days. So, uh, it's, uh, it's a little nuts. So, uh, I'm on my way to go get stuff for the birthday. And, uh, uh I figured I'd just give you guys an update. Yesterday, I actually worked on the Cavalier. And, uh, I was going to record it, and I forgot to get the camera out as aggravated. But it's okay, you guys didn't really miss nothing but a bunch of swearing and aggravation. Um, there's one bell housing bolt that, um, there's a bell housing bolt on the back side of the engine. It's an 18 millimeter bolt. And uh, to make a long story short, I couldn't. I couldn't even get it loose with an impact gun. The, uh, the, the, the bolt is in an awkward place and it's very tight. So, uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is, I think what I'm going to be able to do is get an 18 and the wrench, the box end of the wrench on the bolt, and then take the open end and have it facing up, and the open end part of the uh, wrench, I'm going to put another box end of another longer wrench to give me some leverage, and I'm going to try to break it loose that way. If I get that bolt loose, I'm home free. The motor will come right out. It's just getting that bolt loose has been the problem. Um, once that bolt comes out, it's just a matter of taking uh, one bell housing bolt out of the front, which has already been taken loose, and uh, four bolts on the motor mount, and the, the engine will come right out. So, But, like I said, the problem I'm having is getting that bell housing bolt loose. And when I first started it, the front bell housing bolt was a little loose. And there's a small gap in the bell housing, between the bell housing and the block. So I tightened that bolt back up. I thought maybe it was just putting it on a bind, but that's not the case. It just does not want to come out of, of the, the bell housing. It goes through the block into the bell housing. Bell housing's aluminum, steel bolt two dissimilar metals, you have corrosion, and that's where we're at. Uh, I'm going to try spraying it with PB Blaster to see if that's going to help it, but I'm not looking for it to. Uh, it's pretty tight, and all the bell and all, to, to, to be honest, I don't think that motor was ever out of that car. And all the bell housing bolts on that car are extremely, ridiculously tight. Um, so, you know, it, 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 it's not fun. <laughs> but, uh, you know, when I get ready to start doing it again, I'll take you guys along this time and uh, show you what I'm talking about. And hopefully you'll be able to see, you know, where my frustration's coming from. And, um, you know, but, uh, that's it for now. Uh, you guys, uh, please, uh, comment, rate, subscribe. I really do appreciate it. You have no idea. It's awesome. I love answering everybody's comments. And I always do reply. It, whether they're positive or negative, it doesn't matter. I always reply and I'm never really nasty about anything because everybody's entitled to their opinion and, you know, that's what makes life so interesting. Everybody's different. So, uh, you guys, uh, take it easy and, uh, we'll see you in the next one.